Depending on the ownership of software, there are different types of softwares. One is first is shareware, freeware, and open source. Other than this, there is a software which is the property of the uh, manufacturers. For example, Microsoft has different softwares which are licensed by the company for distribution uh, selling like that if you want any software from them we have to purchase we have to pay to the developers pay and purchase and use so we are not allowed to copy or distribute such a softwares that is the corporation will hold the copyright for that software <coughs> but in shareware there is it works on a sharing basis means the developers will give the software to some people and may ask to give some feedback to him so that he can also benefit from his work and works on a sharing basis and but it holds copyright the developer holds the copyright for the software usually it is happens with the individuals developers not the corporations who wants to get a support from public or uh, in terms of finance or uh, in terms of design support they can share and develop the codes the freeware also it is also copyrighted the developers who are giving it have the copyright the users are not allowed to copy or distribute the freewares but they will give it for free you know that uh, certain companies uh, like uh, microsoft or google they will share certain softwares for free it can be either because they want to give it for free uh, for free for altruistic purpose or they want to get more marketing so they want to popularize the software so that <coughs> they can get more market by giving uh, some software that's free and open source is different from all this kind of software is where the open source the source code is op having open access open access means the public has uh, access to the code itself so the code is not hidden the code it, uh, itself will be published and the code can be modified features can be added and it can be shared by the common people so it is completely free to use and why does the people go for open source like we know that companies like microsoft will earn revenue by selling their softwares right then why some people give their softwares for free, free or as an open source there are different reasons behind this open source softwares and if you see the history this open source movement started as a free software movement so their philosophy is that the software should be a general resource that everybody should be having free access to it not to be monopolized by certain corporate giants like microsoft so their aim was to free the software development and from the multinational companies to make it more common and the software movement was started by richard stallman so that time there were three operating systems which come under this unix gnu and linux so when linux was invented it had a kernel software and which was incorporated to the unix operating system and they combined to form a open source software and open source software we will generally call it as linux software so it was in competition with the microsoft windows operating system which was famous at that time so this linux was capable enough to compete with the windows software because of its open source nature it become very popular with the developers especially who are working with the web service 
it may not be so user friendly for the common people's users and the common people will generally go for windows that is more user friendly but when developers uh, who wants to work with the web servers and uh, like that systems they will prefer the linux software and because of this movement linux software is now used by almost 80 percentage of the web servers use this linux operating system Thus, the Linux forms the basis of the internet and many applications that we are seeing now. So, this is one of the main advantage brought by the open source movement. <coughs> Later, many companies joined this movement, which who also put their Softwares under the general public license. So, the GNU Corporation will use, issue general public license. The software is coming under this license. The users can uh, see the code, modify, add and share the softwares. So, now let us see some of the common open source software. One is Netscape <laughs> Communication. Communication, Internet, Suit. So, when this company made the Netscape Communication Internet Suit as an open source, it will become a uh, great addition to the open source movement. They got a major momentum with the, this suit becoming an open source. Other most common example is the Android platform so this and android platform uses the linux kernel and certain software layers are added to it so this is not a simple software it is a platform there are different elements like operating systems ap application softwares like that inside it and this is one of the most common open source platform and we know that this Android platform forms the basis of the majority of the soft phones now in use. So now you can think about why there is open source. What is the need of open source? Here in the story of Android, <coughs> its aim was to popularize this platform. You know in mobile communication there are different players like handset makers like handset makers like Motorola, Nokia, like that. There are different communication players, including Vodafone, Airtel, like that. And there are different software developers. Software developers like Microsoft, Google, like that. And there are different operating systems. Like that, different players should come together to make a mobile phone and there are different marketing partners marketing companies and if imagine that if these people are working independently they may come up with a separate software separate device separate hardware for that and their reach may also be limited so all these people associated with the mobile constituted a consortium and this consortium decided to make the source code free so that all the people can follow the same source code and same software and develop over it what was the result the result was that they got the maximum reach right maximum reach and maximum popularity so this would have been unachievable if the individual players are playing with their own devices or software and now this android uh, ownership is held by the google company and they will release the source code once they are adding any new versions or new development so that source code can be adopted by the other use other players like uh, samsung or uh, htc so they can adopt and uh, manufacture their own mobile devices and uh, this forms one advantage of the 
open source it can serve the commercial purpose also other than the ethical purpose that the uh, free software movement initiators that they had they had the ethical concern that software should be a common resource it should not be monopolized and another software gaining importance now is the Hadoop it is developed by Apache and this Hadoop is especially for big data management so they help in distributed storage and also the processing of the storage using two devices like so uh, two software frameworks for distributed uh, storage on framework and for processing another framework so this also made open source by the developers and what are the other common open source softwares there are many softwares which will be used in education purposes for presentation for content generation uh, and in the web also so one of the most common uses in blogging and wordpress dot org it is uh, different from the wordpress.com which is not open source but wordpress.com is an open source software which allows users to create their own blogs <coughs> So it is a content management system. So it helps to manage the content in a web page. <coughs> and another common example is GIS. What is GIS? Geographical Information System. So this is an information management system where we are able to overlap the information with the actual maps. So geographical location wise information we can map using this <coughs> system. And it has many applications. It has many applications including the GPS. GPS is a common application for navigation using satellite communication global positioning system is most widely used application and the GIS when it was developed it was an open source so that many people was able to adopt the system and come up with further improvements and further modifications like a GPS GPS is not open source but uh, the initial platform helped many people to use this system for their applications like G GPS. <clears throat> and in e-learning and e-classes, one of the open source system which is gaining popularity is the Moodle. So this software helps in e-learning. E-learning and Manage, management of e-classes so it will incorporate assessment platform <coughs> <coughs> sorry resources platform like that in a single system so that it is largely adopted by many universities and instruct educators to create many e-learning courses, assessment systems and customized for customized learning experience. This platform is used and it is also an open source platform based on the PHP. PHP is a scripting language. So it is just PHP scripting and is an open source.
So we saw what is an open source software and some of the common open source softwares. So in general, open source software movement has contributed much to the development of this uh, software system, especially the World Wide Web and related softwares, which made this information revolution to the common people right it has helped in the information revolution and many inventions like GIS Linux and all has revolutionized this sphere and we saw that the motive behind making an open source code free can vary it can depend on the individuals those who want to have individual satisfaction uh, can they they can also give the source code for free and sometimes people will have different altruist purposes and sometimes there is commercial interest like android platform and we saw that it was a success because it was able to capture the market from the apple i apple apple operating system right apple operating system i operating system which is also which was also, which is a great technological giant in case of the mobile operating system but the android was able to oppose this giant because of his collaborative nature so and sometimes certain government institutions also support this open source softwares so instead of licensed softwares there will be instructions from the government to go for the open source so that they may not they should not pay the fee and they can customize it at their will for their purposes and in recently indian government also took steps to popularize the use of open source softwares wherever it is available for our e-governance purposes e-governance and digital india programs For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.